Greetings. Well, it's that time again. New Dusty Groove Hall. This one's a big one. Been waiting a couple of days actually to open this, which is unusual. Um, but busy, busy, busy. But anyway, um, let's get into it because this one might take a little while, I think. If I can get it to balance here. Okay. Now, let's see. Is there a... Let's get to the receipt somewhere. Oh, it's, it's in the actual cover. Sorry, didn't. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's um, get rid of that. Not to win spoilers. Here we go. First on up Eddie Harris, Instant Death. It's supposed to be a good one. I've heard a bit of it. On Atlantic. Oh, it's about uh, 1970 something, it's early 70s, 72, there we go, early 70s, instant death, and it's a uh, very good pressing, kind of looks nice, kind of looks very nice actually, so um, that should be fun, getting too much Eddie Harris at the moment I think, next, uh, Alfonso Johnson, Oops, Moonshine. Bit of a fusion album. Bass player. That's 76, I think. Uh, yep, 76. Lots of usual suspects on this one. Uh, Patrice Russian. Which is nice. Flora. Orim. Benny Morpin. Uh, Narada. Michael Walden drums. Yes. Uh, Leon Chancellor, nice, Lee Rittenhouse, etc, etc, Blackburn, McKnight, Crap, Eieto, wow, Gary Bartz, um, yeah, so Fusionist sort of stuff, Moon Shadow, and it's very good plus, which is even better. Next, a bit of a deviation from Charles Erland, this one's more of a, less of an organ grinder, more of a... Sort of funky clubby sort of one a bit different we're a dancing on perceptions five bucks very good but five bucks hey oh look there's our mate marcus chapman again <laughs> um whose records i seem to keep getting this one's about 70 what is it 75 or six or maybe even seven i think um i can't even see it Somewhere around there, but anyway. Um, I probably missed it completely. Am I? I don't know. Anyway, can't dwell on that too much. I think it's about 77 or something. Um, yeah, a bit different for Charles Allen. But um, kind of interesting synthy stuff. Alright, this one is a reish of a great album. Idris Muhammad from the Black Rhythm Revolution. I do have this on CD, so this is a bit of an indulgence. Um, Beat Goes Public reissue, but hey, look at that. Friggin' nice new reissue pressing. Got super bad on there. Express yourself. Um, it's nice stuff. Early 70s. Does it say what year? 71 there, that's how early, so yay, yay for the early 70s, um, next up, oh, we have some Houston person on the sax, on prestige, very nice, truth, very nice, I haven't paid a bit for this one, paid the US 20, very good plus day condition, um, oh, there's some writing, but it's not our other mate, it's got Sissy Strut, that's the thing. Got a version of me to Sissy Strut. It should be very, oh, I've heard it before, it's very nice. I've heard all this before. Uh, which is why I paid extra for it. Definitely for Sissy Strut there. Um, some other nice stuff on there. Not just that. And some nice on Prestige, looks pretty damn good. Except for a little bit of a punch hole. Ah, now here's my biggest indulgence. I did pay for this one. One of my most expensive for a while. 
ants all the time, but you know, got it. Very good plus. Bill Withers live at Carnegie Hall on Sussex. Two record set. Um, original. Yeah, I paid for it. As you can see. But, you know, two record set on Sussex. Gate folder, I won't pull it out. But um, that's an indulgence. Next, pretty damn nice price. Billy Cobham Live, Shabazz, I think it's called under there. Shabazz, live in Europe. Um, slamming it on the drums, fusion. I've had a listen to this one. It's pretty damn good for, you know, full on fusion. Eight bucks. It's about 74 or 75, I think. 75, there we go. Um, we've got the Brecker Brothers on horns. Which is nice. They did a lot with Cobham at that time. And there's 70 zero. But yeah, that's a slammer. Now, the start of my Black Jazz run. Got some coming, so hopefully they come soon. This is my first foray with Calvin Keys, Shawnique. Um, what can I say? Black Jazz stuff. Jeez. 1971. Early. Well, they only went for five years, I think, but. Nice black and white covers, really stark. The same on the back, but if you well, you flip it like that, um, it's basically the same on the back, practically the same. I think there's a little bit more, no, but anyway. Um, bargain at 14, US listed at 24, so you know, bargain probably about 30, just under 30 Australian with postage. Which is nice, brand new reish. Looking forward to that one, definitely. Definitely, it's gonna be great. All right, something a bit different. We've got Isis on their second album, all female act. But damn, this one is produced by Alan Toussaint. It's got some funky stuff. Near mint minus of that. Tiny of little notches. Who cares? Great cover, love that cover. Smashing. Uh, but near mint minus. Ain't no backing up. About 1975 again. Yep, there we go. Buddha Records. GRT. How good is that? Great cover. Lovely. Um, but near mint minus, eh? Hey? Near mint minus for 1975. Damn, girl. Uh, a great female act. Especially at that time. There was not many. Um, some very funky stuff on there. All right, also, long time coming. Finally paid the money and the postage, but it is a near mint minus pressing. $10 US, nice and heavy. Bam! At the car wash, girl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, great pressing. It is a standard pressing. Two record sets. It's heavy to pick up, I tell you what. That's a killer. Car wash, um, reportedly with Billy Bass Nelson on there, on some of it, from Uncredited. All right, next one, a cheapy, but there's some decent stuff on here. Usually stay clear of Maynard Ferguson. This is Conquistador. There's actually some big brass stuff on here, but it's actually some nice stuff. It's pretty decent on here. It's got a theme from Rocky, but it's actually quite cool. Uh, a theme from Star Trek, but there's some other nice songs on here. I think it's The Fly, is it? The book? Anyway, yeah, um, surprising from Maynard Ferguson record, um, 77 too, so we're getting a bit late, but yeah, it's actually not bad. You know, Gordon Johnson bass, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, look, three bucks, near mint minus. So for three bucks, near mint minus, you know. Bit of a side indulgence there for three bucks. US. All right, next one we have... Fences of the Astral Pirates by Lenny White. Just love the cover. The whole package is great. It's only eight bucks US. Very good plus. And 
cover looks fucking fantastic. Looks great. Um, I won't open up the awesome gatefold. But very nice. Very good plus eight bucks. And lastly, kick this box out of the way. <laughs> um, George Benson, other side of Abbey Road. On the Amen slash CTI deal. Late 60s, 15 bucks, very good, which is a decent price for this LP. Um, with the gatefold, I believe. I will pull this one out. Oops. Oh, with the gatefold. It's a very austere gatefold, but hey, very CTI ish early stuff. I think it's like 1969 or something. Uh, recorded 1969, so. Maybe have been released 70, but um, yeah, other side of Abbey Road, George Benson really coming into it. Um, very nice, but you know, paid a little bit, but still pretty good bargain. Cover looks great, hopefully, the LP is too. There we go, Squires. Enjoy.